Well, good morning, um, everyone. I'm just outside. I'm getting some uh, fresh, uh, fresh sunlight, and I just wanted to make sure that I came out here to um, obey God. And just want to say thank you for my viewers who are reaching out to me, getting giving me um, feedback that you are paying attention to the instructions that I'm sending and releasing and uploading on my YouTube channel. It makes me feel good that uh, people are being proactive and taking um, excellent care um, of the temple of God. But um, the first thing the Spirit of God told me to talk about today is uh, hair. And um, if you're African-American and you're having issues with hair growth, um, and you have Jesus in your heart, and you feel with the Holy Ghost, you can actually speak to your hair and give it a command and tell it um, how long you want it to grow. For instance, you know, you could just uh, say, hair on top of my head in the name of Jesus, I command you to grow quickly 12 inches down my back. You have to tell the hair how many inches you wanted uh, to grow and use specific words for uh, your hair growth, for, for, for what you want your hair to do. And your hair will obey your command. It's just like I was teaching people on my channel, you know, if you have Jesus in your heart and you're filled with the Holy Ghost, how to speak to limbs. Every, anybody who has the Holy Spirit inside of them has been given power and authority uh, in the earth and you can speak to things and things will um, obey your uh, command. So that's how much power uh, you have. You've been given authority and dominion in the earth and the spirit of God just placed it on my heart to tell whoever it is needs this message that you can speak to your hair and tell it what to do and how to grow. Now, um, I take excellent care of my hair. I drink plenty of water, not sink water. Sink water has over 700 chemicals. I drink distilled water and um, I eat nourishing meals. And you already know I take uh, essential nutrients like sea moss and bladder rack, a multivitamin mineral with chromium inside vitamin d vitamin c you know i take and, and i drink um herbal teas so you know i just uh, you know I, I take care of the inside so your hair your hair i'm talking to uh people of color african-american people because um that this particular culture my culture has issues with uh, hair growth. And it's because a lot of times um, my culture will try to look like another culture. And God, that's not how God made your hair. God didn't make your hair to look like another culture. Your hair is of a different texture. So you have to find um, a, a different way. Not a different way. I shouldn't say different. You should have to find a way that your hair texture will respond to and grow. And, you know, I've always had um, uh, hair. I always had a head full of hair. Never had issues with uh, my hair. But I, I always wanted to grow past my shoulders. And so when I was talking to uh, God about that, and he just put in my hair to lock your hair, for me to lock my hair up, and just to uh, leave it alone, just let it grow. And I was cool with that because by that time, you know, I had did everything I wanted to do with my hair, you know. And I was ready for just to, to lock it up and just to let it grow. And, and that's exactly what my hair uh, has been doing. It, it's just growing by leaps and bounds down my back. And um, I shared uh, a vision that God had given me before that, um, you know, my hair is going to grow all the way down my back to the back of my heels. Now I do have, um, you know, my dad's side of the family and I look like my dad's side of the family. They're, they're Creole, half French, half Indian. And then 
on my grandfather's side, you know, I have uh, Cherokee. So there's a, in my DNA, there is uh, long hair. You know, whenever I would go see my people um, in Louisiana, I mean, they were just the most gorgeous women I've ever seen in my life. Hair all the way down their back, down their, to their back of their feet, just gorgeous. But see, they knew they knew uh, how to uh, take care of their hair uh, in the South. They knew, and they always went with God's natural ways of uh, taking care um, of their hair. So, you know, um, when I was growing up, you know, I was given perms, but I was a child. I had to do whatever it is my parents had me to do. So I was... Um, conform to the world's way of doing uh, my hair um, and then when I start walking with the Lord he start dealing with me to come up out of that you know the way the world does stuff for African-American hair because it's out of alignment with the word of the living God uh, first of all uh, putting perms and, and chemicals and stuff on your hair will poison your brain and your blood it, it's you know you're sitting there looking cute with your hair, and then all jacked up on inside the body. And the Lord was dealing with me about that. He was like, don't do that. Align yourself to my word, and I'll, and I'll bless your hair. And, and, you know, I've been natural for years. Um, I haven't had chemicals in my hair for years, and I've been wearing natural hairstyles. Before I had my locks, I was wearing my big old afro. I was rocking that afro. I loved it. Um, and then, you know, I start talking to God about, growing my hair longer and this is the plan that he gave me and I just lined up to the plan and and um and did it plus I love locks I have a friend who has beautiful locks and then I look at people um in the street with their beautiful locks and it just looks so like for the for the men it looks so like kings you know and then for the women they look like queens and I just thought they were beautiful, you know, and I went ahead and, and did, made that decision to lock my hair. And I now I'm wishing, like, why did I wait so long? Why, why didn't I do that uh, long ago, long, long time ago? So I'm so glad that I went ahead, had a little conversation with the Lord, and he encouraged me to lock my hair up. So I don't, you know, I don't care what people think. I don't, I'm not into... Uh, looking like another culture. I want to look like how God made me. He made my hair a certain texture, and I want to rock my hair in the texture format that God has uh, given to me. So I wanted to make sure I shared that with you and that you know that there's death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So you can speak to your hair plus i shared the different types of oils and stuff that i put in my hair my my hair loves to be moisturized so you know i have uh, i use avocado oil moringa oil and all um and olive oil all organic and i just saturate my scalp and my hair um with the oil and my hair just loves it so I just want to make sure sure that i uh shared that with you and then um, I want to continue on on the uh, conversation of of speaking um, and using your your mouth to get what you want, your tongue to get what you want. Um, you know, I've been a nurse for for many many years, and you know, I had I told you before I've had some great pastors uh, in my life teaching me how to speak and use my tongue to get what I want based on, um, the word of God. And, you know, I would be in church and my pastor would tell the whole congregation to speak life and health, um, to our body. He said, you got to get up every day and bless your own health, bless your own body. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. 
my brain is healthy and whole, my eyes are healthy and whole, my my nose and sinus is healthy and whole, my tongue and teeth and gums are healthy and whole, my ears are healthy and whole, my hair is healthy and whole, my throat is healthy and whole, my heart is healthy and whole, my lungs are healthy and whole. I'm blessed from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Um, all of my internal organs are healthy and whole. My blood pressure is normal. It is uh, 118 um, over uh, 72. Um, my, uh, my blood is healthy and whole. My eyesight is healthy and whole. My legs, my bones are healthy and whole. You know, my arms, my extremities are healthy and whole. I bless my body in the name of the Lord, and I curse sickness and disease in my body to its root. Sickness and disease cannot live, grow, or multiply. Sickness and disease must wither up, die, and come out my body in Jesus' name. My pastor taught me this. Yes, he did. He Not only did he teach me this, he taught the whole congregation that you bless your health, you bless your body, Every day, you every day, you don't let one day go by without speaking uh, blessings over yourself and over your body. And I know that just from being a nurse and working with people that have come in contact with me, I've taught people how to do this, and cancers have just dissolved and came out of people, whether it was on their skin or inside of their body. I mean, whatever you say, child of God, is going to happen. You have Je When you have Jesus in your heart and you are filled with the precious Holy Ghost, you've been given dominion and authority uh, in the earth. And you're supposed to bless your body and curse sickness and disease off of your body every day because you don't never know what you didn't came in contact with. You don't know what is growing inside of you. So you never let the enemy sneak up on you. You got to be a, you got to be ahead of the game. And you got to know how to walk in this thing here called walking with the Lord in power and authority and dominion in the earth. So um I felt led to make sure that I uh shared that information with you because Satan should be doing no sneak attacks up on your body. You should be up on it and then i've shared a lot of videos about how to eat right how to take your essential nutrients and how to cleanse your body you're supposed to be proactive you're supposed to be uh taking care of business and if your pastor hasn't taught you um all of this stuff that i'm teaching today now you know god is sending a woman of god to teach you now so now you know and, and remember when jesus cursed the fig tree in the bible he cursed it to his root he cursed the fig tree, told it to wither up and to dry up. And when Jesus came back by and, and they looked at that fig tree, it had withered up and died. It had did exactly what Jesus commanded the fig tree to do. You have that same power. So not only do you have power to speak to your hair and tell it how, how many inches to grow every day, not only do you have power to speak um, to money and tell money to come to you in Jesus name not only do you have power to speak to the winds and to the waves you got power to curse sickness and disease in your body and to tell it to come out in the name of the Lord Jesus and whatever you say child of God is going to happen I personally know people who, who've had cancer um, on their skin and they cursed it and guess what it just withered up died and came right on off that's how much power you have nothing is impossible for them who believe and i told y'all before you know this watered down gospel that's going on in the church that's not gonna help you you need to hear the real deal you need to hear the the word of the living god for real just like jesus taught us uh in the bible so with that being said, I made sure I was obedient to the Lord because that's what he told me to share. Now, I've shared a lot of this information that I'm sharing today on uh, Facebook, but I'm not on Facebook anymore. So I wanted to make sure um, I obey God and, and put this information up on um, my YouTube page. Now, I want to show everybody this because I've shared this before as well. 
This is called a pop pulse oximeter. Okay, pulse oximeter. I call it a pulse ox for short. Nurses call it a pulse ox for short. And it's what the hospitals use to, you put it on your finger and it lets you know your oxygen levels inside of your body and your pulse. You should be knowing what's going on inside of your body, especially during a time of a plague. I, I encourage everyone to invest in this device. You can go right to Amazon and order, order one and it's very reasonable and have it in your house. You should know what's going on inside of your body. You don't wait for no doctor, no nurse uh, to tell you what's going on. All you do is push the button and it'll tell you your readings. You should have um, a digital thermometer. Everyone should have a thermometer in their house. No excuses for that. Get yourself a thermometer. And then you should also have a blood pressure cuff in your house you should know what your blood pressure is you shouldn't be like all of a sudden have a stroke you should not be walking and all of that you should know what's going on inside of your body um you should have like you know if you don't have high blood pressure check your blood pressure like once a month you know just to to make note of what's going on uh inside of your body you want to catch stuff ahead of the game and then um, um, I, I told you before, if you flush out your body, your blood pressure go back down to normal. You stop eating pork, your blood pressure go back down to normal. If you put essential nutrients in your body, your blood pressure will go back down uh, to normal. My oldest daughter, she had an issue uh, going on with her blood pressure. And I said, get you some... Um, some garlic peels, you know, because I didn't think she was going to drink, like, garlic water or, you no know, raw garlic every day. I didn't think she was going to do it. So I said, get yourself some, you know, um, age extract garlic peels, and she did, and it just brought her blood pressure right back down uh, to normal. Those are, you know, if you're missing essential nutrients in your body, your blood pressure will go up, and so you want to make sure that, you put in the nutrients that your body needs. And if you're on blood pressure medication, you can't just take garlic every day because it'll drop it too low. You need to make sure you talk to uh, your healthcare uh, provider uh, before you take blood pressure medication and garlic peels. Uh, but talk if you want to come off your, your blood pressure medication, ask your doctor to monitor your your uh blood pressure and you keep a note at at um at home take your blood pressure every day and um and if the doctor says you can take your uh garlic peel start monitoring your blood pressure write it down and then bring it in to the doctor so he can start weaning you um off of your uh blood pressure uh medication because i know uh just from talking to a hairdresser she told me all of her um clients who come into her her uh shop to get her, their hair done that's on blood pressure medication they have bald spots on top of here that's because that blood pressure medication is not natural and it eats the hair up it, it just tears the hair up so a lot of women and men are experiencing alopecia and baldness from from the medication because it's not natural but um garlic is completely natural and um, it can lower your blood pressure naturally, put those essential nutrients in your body that you need. Um, but you have to work with a doctor with this. I'm always telling people, work with your doctor with this. So your, your doctor, you and your doctor could be a team and your doctor can start weaning you um, off of medication. And also, too, uh, a lot of people who are on blood pressure medication, they have uh, some kind of weird cough. It's a weird cough that they get from taking that medication because the body is just going through changes with that medication. So um, I'm just sharing um, information that I know that works. My daughter has never been uh, diagnosed with high blood pressure or having the need to um, take blood pressure medication because she, that girl don't be playing. She puts in the nutrients that she needs um, to, to bless her body. And thank God she caught it. Uh, quick enough where uh, I was able to tell her what to do. I was like, girl, just add some garlic. 
add some garlic to your daily regimen and your blood pressure will go right back down to normal where it's supposed to be. But also cleanse your body out. I had to cleanse your body out really good because you, you got to clean your body out. So your, your organs, internal organs can function uh, properly. And she takes all of her, her multivitamin and mineral and essential nutrients. So once she put all the good stuff into her body, her blood pressure just went right back down uh, to normal. So this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. I obey God uh, this morning. I, everybody knows uh, that if you come on my channel, I'm going to be talking about health and nutrition. And I'm going to be talking about the Word of God. I'm going to be talking about living right because that's what I do. Uh, this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Have a beautiful day.